wanu moe ago wanu moe wanu moe ago adio wanu moe ago adio wanu moe so today 67th independence day parade happened at Koforidia in the eastern region and what people are asking is there was some live depot performance okay depot right but people they talk say ah at this modern time is it really necessary to perform this depot right at an independence day parade let's watch the depot right performances because i'm out for say ah okwa china actually technology in a way she almost performance in different different technologies but is it really necessary to perform this depot traditional right at an independence day celebration all right let's check out the full video
Thank you very much. To both the groups. Thank you. So many people before right. Thank you very much. Alright, so the poor right is arguably one of the most popular yet criticized traditional festival and practice in Ghana, yet one of the most attended events in the country, receiving huge patronage from tourists. Tourists the more the poor right pa. The traditional festival is celebrated by the people of Odumase Krobo in the eastern region of Ghana. The festival is celebrated in the month of April each year. So the Dipo festival is used to usher uh, virgin girls into like uh, adulthood. And uh, like, uh, yes, it's used to usher virgin girls into puberty or womanhood. And it signifies that a participating girl is of age to be married. What did I say? Uh, so parents, upon hearing announcement of the right, send their qualified girls to the chief priest. However, these girls would have to go through rituals and tests to prove their, to prove say like them be virgins before like they they, they qualify them to partake in the festival so you know we say you go there and all then then go allow you make you participate like then for do some tests and things to prove say charlie you be virgin and things because they do a uh, depot thing say it be only for virgins uh -huh. and i sure say it has its positive side okay so on the first day of the right the girls have their hairs shaved so then go shave them my hair and they, they dress them in cloth around their waist to just their knee level. Uh -huh. This is done by a special ritual mother and it signifies their transition from childhood to adulthood, Charlie. That when they display them at things. They are paraded to the entire community as they initiate the poyo. Yeah, into your friend the poyo. So as they parade them, then they go wear down small cloth and things are that when they call them the the poyo, the poyo. Yeah. So as you know, this is performed by the Krobo, Odumasi people. Mm -hmm. So the Mamima background Kakra, yeah. So early the next morning, the chief priest gives the initiate a ritual bath, a big jaromina. He pours libation to ask for blessings for the girls. He then washes their feet with the blood with the blood of a goat which their parents presented. This is to drive away any spirit of barrenness. Wow. See, this is to uh, the crucial. The crucial part of the rite is when the girl sits on the sacred stone. This is to prove their virginity. Wow! However, any girl found to be pregnant or not a virgin is detested by the community and does not entice a man from the tribe. From the tribe. Okay. The girls are then housed for a week, where they are given training on cooking housekeeping, childbirth, and nurture. The ritual mother gives them special lessons on seduction, how to seduce a man, and how their husbands will expect to be treated. They learn the clamor dance, which will be performed on the final day of the rite. After the one-week schooling, they are released and the entire community gather to celebrate their tra transition into womanhood. They are beautifully dressed in a rich kente cloth with bees around their waist, neck, and arms. With singing and drumming, they perform the clamor dance. Uh -huh. So at this point, any man interested in any one of them can start investigating into, into her family. It is assumed that any lady who partakes 
in the right not only brings honor to herself but to her family at large. It is done to initiate young women into knowing their responsibilities before stepping into marriage. So it this what it is. So that be something about the depot right. Uh, so Charlie, it is what it is. It is what it is. It was performed at the Independence Day, but I think I'm not any detail too much. So yeah, it is what it is. Thank you for checking out this video. Drop your comments, like the video, subscribe. Peace out. See you in the next episode.